what's happening everybody welcome back it is your boy the wolf of crypto bring you guys here another video today about exodus the staking uh i added a couple more coins uh but before we go ahead and get on, on into that cue the intro please all right let's go ahead get back on in it exodus y'all if you guys have seen my previous video uh simply was talking about how i added cardano and v chain part of the staking program now as you guys can see right now i have seven assets uh obviously the market's been doing pretty solid as we end q1 here um obviously you can see my best asset right now is neo at a nice Plus almost 15, 14% last 24 hours, folks. It's funny, like I said, I've been watching Neo. People forget Neo was, you know, I think, if I'm not mistaken, it was close to like $200. I know it was $100 for a fact. Um, but again, like I said, been watching it. But as you guys can see, we added Neo um, and then we added Cosmos as well. Uh, I was trying to add Algorand, come to find out not able to exchange it uh with on the platform with uh, tether so i'm thinking i might have to just go buy algorand and just deposit it here that way i can go ahead and uh, start earning apy on that because if you come to my rewards i'm only missing three coins so i'm missing algorand ontology and tezos as you can see, my staking balance right now is at $776. My average APY is almost at 6%. It's almost there. And total earnings so far is almost almost 75 cents, folks. Uh, like I said, not too shabby for the balance that I have. And again, uh, not too shabby for, you know, being some type of uh, crypto bank slash savings account. Um because if, if you guys have heard me previously state, you know, staking coins right now, I think that's, like I said, that is something that I'm always trying to constantly uh, throw money into. Just for the fact that, as you guys can see, it's easy to make some extra, extra funds off of. Especially when you're not necessarily uh, trading. Um, for those of you that are, you know, main time hodlers, and it's kind of cool. As you can see, my portfolio age is going up almost at three months to see my highest balance apparently is today uh, i'm pretty sure I'm, that's gonna be thanks to neo um but again you come here see how the price action is doing like i said when it comes to the analytics the stats all that here on exodus it's really really easy on the eyes real easy for users and then it breaks down your portfolio breakdown as well um but as far as the Exodus shares, let's go to this. So we're back here with the Exodus shares. I still got a clip on my profile. Apparently the verification I had sent in, apparently I guess it didn't go through, but I'm still looking to see if I can go ahead and give me a couple of Exodus shares. Um, still at a low cheap price currently right now. Um, but like I said, I think my next assets that I'm trying to add to the reward as far as my Exodus is going to be probably uh between Tezos and then Algorand. Definitely want to add Ontology just for the fact that you know it's a high APY. Uh, I would have that would be the last high APY that I don't have right now. But you can come and you know see my Cardano rewards. That's how what I have available right now. If I want to if I want to claim them, uh, I'm kind of debating on just letting them either stack up really high or maybe claim them every quarter. Uh, and if you come back, let's go back. Same thing with my Cosmos. Right now, Cosmos don't have too many awards, but there's some in there. Got a little bit in there. Got a little bit in there. Uh, same thing goes with uh, Neo. Neo, I got some gas, but like I said, probably gonna have to let that bad boy rack it up. But I mean, that's gonna really wrap it up as far as the Exodus staking program my exodus wallet um again like i said trying to 
put more funds into this on the I would say more so on a monthly basis, but there are some definitely coins in here that might just start holding um, because as far as like price price movements, I've I've been keeping my eye on some of these coins that are still under a dollar, uh, and you know Tron today, prime example. Tron had a nice little day today. I think Tron got up to nine cents. So again. Some offline wallets, uh, wallets where you own private keys, sometimes they don't have all the necessary cryptocurrencies that you might need in that particular wallet. Um, but it's always good to, you know, have uh, money that's not tied to any exchanges, uh, especially, you know, if anything happens. But if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys leave a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the bell to be notified for future videos. And uh, until the next time, y'all. Take care.